Alright guys, so today I'm going to be lighting up my garden with various different types of solar lights. Starting off, this one is an LED solar pathway light. There's a pack of 12 in there. It's a cold white color, 6500 kelvins. It's a 12 pack. I've got a pathway just at the end there and there's actually 12 tiles that make up just that portion of the garden. So I will line that up quite well and have 12 of these lights over there and I'll showcase you, to you guys how that looks. Then I have three boxes of these solar fence lights. So it's quite a nice design. They give off a little star kind of illumination once it lights up. Now I've got pillars along all of my fences there at the back and I have about 24 that go all the way along the side of the house, around the house, and there's 24 all together, so it's perfect. And I'm looking forward to setting this up, but this will actually take the longest because I'll need to drill two holes into the concrete pillars that are in between the fences. So ho hopefully that doesn't take me too long, but I'm gonna charge this up, probably take a couple of days for all of them, and uh, hopefully the sun comes out today. So I can showcase this because this is what's going to light up the garden more than anything else. One thing I'm also missing is a solar floodlight. Now this is something I was looking forward to because it's very dark and you know I don't have any street lighting or anything else around my garden. It's very private. So I wanted to light it up, get some motion sensor lights like this so that if anyone does come out into the garden during sundown, then uh, they can at least get a good amount of light. And it's a bit of a security measure because I'm also gonna set one of these up on the front of the house. So in case someone's walking around in the front or if someone maybe comes into the back garden without us knowing, it lights it up and it's a bit of a deterrent. Next, I have this box of solar LED bulbs, very warm lights and these are 10 meters. Now, I'm gonna connect the solar panel just on the side of the house. But essentially, if you look here, the back part of my house, this spans about 10 meters. So just along the bottom of the flat roof part of this, I'm gonna put all of the bulbs. So especially when you have like garden parties or barbecues, uh, especially in the evenings, this is really gonna make it pop and light up everything. Probably put the solar floodlight just below that in the middle somewhere. So I'll have a play around and see what works. And then uh, hopefully that will look really good as well. Final thing are these pack of two fairy lights. They're not too long. I think they're about a couple of meters. Um, not sure why there's a proposal in this picture, but I guess that kind of connotates having fairy lights in the background. These are gonna go onto these new trees that I will set up from my front door. And they're gonna look really good and also they're solar powered, so the solar panels will just sit on top of those trees. Really excited. Gonna take me a long time to get all of this set up, so I'm gonna fast forward and showcase to you guys how it looks in a couple of days time. But first, let me just show you whilst I'm installing them. Okay, you can see there, I've decided to put them on in the middle of the fence because it was a bit of a pain to try and drill directly into the concrete pillars in between the fences. This was so much easier, but it actually still looks pretty good. I've done that all across the sides, as you can see down here as well. There is the solar lights along the top with the bulbs. I'll be turning them on. And then down here, I have the pathway lights. So there's 12 of them that lead up to the fire pit area. Now, one thing I did change, I decided not to have the floodlight here because there is a lot of lights already in the garden. And we have these back wall lights just there. There's three of them on the back of the house which give enough light anyway. And one thing I realized is these CCTV cameras that I've reviewed previously, they have inbuilt lights on them as well at nighttime. So when there is motion, they are quite bright and they do light up the garden on both sides. So there was less of a need to have it in the back garden. But what I have done is I put it on the side of the house with the gates. So I've put them up there and they work very well. And the sun comes up from this side as well. So the solar panel is positioned perfectly for that. And at the front of the house, I've got the solar panel fairy lights on the trees and they look really nice as well. As you can see there, I've just placed it in the bottom, perfect position for direct sunlight, and they do a great job shining at nighttime. So that's it. Let's go ahead and see a comparison 
by turning all of these on and how they look at night compared to what it was like before. I see that you're hurting. I see that you're down. I see how every dream returned came back to call you out. Was ready to rumble. Was ready to fight. Got lost in the thunder. Without alibis, shout at the night, rage at the lies. Don't let the fear control its deep within. Oh, oh, oh. Until the sky has fallen, I'll be around. I'll be there night and day. I'll be there both night and day. Until the stars have fallen onto the ground. The pages are turning under the clouds. Got used to the hiding. Now you're feeding the doubt. Let me show you the silver lining. How to tame them and then to ride them. Cause you weren't meant to be caught counting days. That's not your place. Shout at the night, rage at the lies. Don't let the fear control its deep within. So that's about it guys, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you like these lights. So check out the description below, I've got a link to all of these lights. So you'll find those solar bulbs that I've got at the top there, you'll find all of the solar fence lights, the pathway lights, the floodlights and the fairy lights of the trees at the front of the house. If you did like this and you like these lights, make sure you give this video a like. Make sure to subscribe. I'm going to be doing more lighting videos like this in the future. I'm pretty sure you're going to like those as well. And I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.